We are on the 13th installment of reacting to your gameplay. So let's jump into it. No other intro is needed, but I do got to remind you how to share your replays. You got to go to your battle records. Make sure you find the game that you want to send in and click on the details. Click on release. A lot of people mistakenly not press the release button and then issue replay ID and then paste it in the comment section down below. Don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel, but let's get into our first match. Our first match actually comes from the Discord, which is linked in the description. It's coming from my boy Floff. So let's have a look at his game. He gave us zero clues of what this game was about. So it looks like he's using Cell and we're versing Jiren, which realistically is a pretty tough matchup so i want to see how he did it oh we're using ginger town we're using ginger town today and the farmer let's go so he does have the four cost jiren but this card is the saving grace to easily get rid of jiren however it does give energy to red players but th at that point you just gotta hope that you've lowered their card amount size where they can't even utilize all that energy anyway so let's see how this goes here. Pretty simple start. The hardest part about the strategy is, of course, you have the minusing effects of red. So Ginger Town is not as prominent. But um, you could probably still make it work with enough farm with the shotguns. So you got two Ginger Towns now. And nothing to play off. You obviously don't pull out the farm with the shotgun just gonna get destroyed and uh it's pretty simple from here on out red has the momentum got another at least you with this you can ramp twice even though it's not really worth it now that's the board you want to see as a ginger town user three one drops so I guess you're going to be ramping on turn uh, on the 4 energy mark. You do have Krillin here, which can search you and be a 20,000 on the board. He doesn't have anything to get rid of it. Oh, he actually does. He has Spear of Destruction. Which will lower your health. And you missed anyway. You're going to go for the swing. And he's going to protect himself right there. Saved by the barrier. Interesting extra to run. Another one. I mean, there's really nothing else that this Jiren can do other than play. Oh, yeah. I guess you can use the extra energy and go for the Jiren. Which may be his biggest mistake. If only you had the four... If only you had the five energy right now. Oh, my God. And then you play Ginger Town. Here we go, Awakening Cell. So now you got this hard... Mountain to climb, I guess. He didn't use the Jiren effect. Which he should have. I mean... It's a free effect. What? So we go, draw one. Farm with a shotgun. Farm with a shotgun. And with Ginger Town, we're ramping to eight bit slow because you have no defenses whatsoever but at least you didn't activate the Jiren effect so you, you kind of got the dub there and he's going to combo Ooh, comboing I guess that's the only other thing that you have the combo I wonder if he does two Jirens I think you definitely go with the cell because you just don't want him to be drawing that much. But this red player seems pretty beginner. He doesn't know that you can still use Jiren effect. Just to even just add one card to your, to your hand. And now he's got the massive hand size now. Yeah, so... It's comboing another? Why'd you combo 10k there? I don't actually know. But we get to see that cool effect at least. 
I don't mind that. So what do we... We comboed the Hercule. All right. Interesting. I don't know. It was necessarily needed. But I think you got the best value. You return those Jirens without him using the effect. Like, he should be plus three here. He should have 14 cards, essentially, from the turn prior. So he's going to do all of this work to lower down this cell. Oh, my God. How's he going to do the rest? He needs one more. He's got Whis and then the... Um... That makes sense. That makes sense. That was a... That's a lot of cards. <laughs> and he do he does get the free damage dealt. Ugh, that's not what you want to see. But you got Gigantic Meteor. Oh, he comes back. You know what? I haven't even read all of it. <laughs> but he's one card from your energy. Oh, it's you know, his drum plays card and drop. That's disgusting. <laughs> Honestly, didn't read that effect. <laughs> That's disgusting. <laughs> to keep a 45k? What? I mean, a 50k, sorry. Oh my god. It's... Holy crap. Wow, you're comboing 60. Was that really necessary? And he is going to protect your baiting the androids play. Get to draw one. Still got Meteor up just in case. Bro's going on the massive aggression. Knowing that. Honestly, at this point, Jiren just takes these hits and prays that he gets the double strike. But, of course, he doesn't know you only have one gigantic meteor. So, it's telling me that he did all of that minusing effect to do nothing. That's insane. Glimpse. Okay. But why? <laughs> but why? <laughs> Is my question. Why did he do that? This is just a confusing game overall, but... You get two Brawlies out or two Cells out? Disgusting. Yeah, it's definitely two Brawlies out. That's three of his cards right there. Ooh, not the card you want to see. See? He would have gotten the... If he just took the hit, he would have gotten that. And then he could have done the maths to figure out... Charge one, glimpse, maybe. Figure out the maps in order to double strike finish. And yeah, Brawly there. With a gigantic meteor to end it off. Makes me question if I even need cell games in my deck. Let me know. Do you guys run cell games in the cell deck still? 70. Technically, if there were all 10Ks, he survives those. <laughs> Our next match is from Seth Edits, and he has a Super Saiyan 4 Goku versus Super Saiyan Vegeta deck. And he's a god rank 92, so this will be very interesting. On paper, blue should win. And who's going first here? Oh, Vegeta. I think Vegeta likes to be first a lot of the times. A lot of the matchups I've been trying out, 
I kind of just go first, except for green. What do you guys think? First, the wave for blue these days. I even think that going first against the blue mirror match is actually pretty good too. It just feels nice. I don't know why. But yep, classic uh, blue style. We're just protecting whatnot. We got Videl. It's just blue back out, ball and trunks. And we have nothing to play on turn two, but our curve is really nice. We got three, four. And we got a big 35 beater. So all good there. A few 10Ks. Got Bardock in here for some aggro aggression. Videl, of course, is going to start swinging. And we're going to pick up some more. He runs um the Goten. Interesting. Very good for, I guess, to counter Videl, but doesn't really do much. Then we got Super Saiyan 3 Goku. Getting us the uh, um, extra. Not taking a life, which is fair. Uh, Videl will probably do that for you. And Vegeta. I would swung at the Videl, though. Because he probably... You can waste two resources by going life and then Videl. At this point, it's probably way worth it. <laughs> Because at this, he just took the damage, got an extra card. You can still recycle peel off. You did take damage. You did, you did deal damage, so it's kind of worth it. Ooh. That's what he's going to do. Then the go 10 bounce back. I mean, sure. Whatever. Now that the Videl is Force Awakening you, so you can... Look how... And then the pressure is now... That you can just take this and awaken. The sequencing is a bit wrong. A bit wrong. Then we awaken. We got the massive power boost. Swinging at leader. 25. Interesting, interesting. He's going to protect that. Then we got to deal with the goat. And oh, we're going with the... Hmm. Okay, so we're going with the aggro bark strategy first off. Getting the draw. And then you got a 35k swing on the next. Got rid of the Videl. Uh, he can still bottom deck it, but it, I guess it, if he does sickle or something, it feels better that it's this Bardock rather than the Super Saiyan 4 Goku. So I can understand that. He's going to lower the... Oh my god. So this is where the Vegeta just got unlucky. He just had nothing really of value in his hand to, like, play. <laughs> He's got so many one-drops. And he's just picking up more. <laughs> but at least he can combo. And I, um, pressure a hand a little bit and still protect himself. So now you have to get through this wall of 10Ks. So, ooh, okay. Oh, we're doing a Bardock again. Just not worrying about the, um... The four drop. That will be wasted. Thirty-five. Definitely not protecting against this. Then you can go ahead and swing again. But you're not, because you don't want to deal with Vegeta's 35k. So now Vegeta comes in. Bottom decks your Bardock. Goes for a fat 45k. We've got plenty of cards. And then we just have to protect from the hero swing. <laughs> I think next turn is definitely a 5 cost Bardock just to get rid of the Vegeta.
And then you got a combo two cards. <laughs> I think what's... Nah, it's, it's probably better to... Interesting. I would have maybe swung at the leader to see if he took it. And then the uh, double strike technically would be more potent. Because you're going to 50 and he'll be at 20. Because sometimes they just take it. Like 3 is a dealable health margin to have. Even for blue. Especially if they have ways to get rid of that, your double strike, because that was your only one. So you place Vegeta out again. He's going real aggro. And now you know your Bardock is clean. Clean free. He should have played it safe that time. He should have peel off my... Sickled. Honestly. Five energy, peel off, then use the effect. Oh, he never even used the effect either. His uh, hand management did not do so well. Now it's time to burn through his hell. Destroying the Vegeta. Gonna take it. Cool, cool, cool. He might even take this, yep. Scary position you are in, but luckily he doesn't have another double strike Vegeta. Because with 10 cards in hand, 7 energy... A lot can happen, so he's kind of... He can't even use the Videl effect. He's got too many cards in hand. You're going to just take it. You're ballsy, bro. You're ballsy. How did you even survive this? Videl? Come on, please. Oh my, what? That was the easiest game over I've ever seen in my life as a blue player. <laughs> I cannot believe you got out of that. So you got to get to 70k. He's at 60. Uh, what did I watch? You clickbaited me so hard. <laughs> you clickbaited me so hard. What the hell happened? The next match we're looking at is from Vinicius. Uh, thank you for subscribing as always. And uh, we are seeing Zamasu versus Cell. Some set two versus. Let's see how that goes. Rare to see Zamasu in this day and age. I hope he's using some of the new cards as well. Some updated, some updates to the deck. Uh, I have actually never seen Zamasu being played. I mean, Cell is using brand new cards. We got the Videl. That's great. All right. So new cards, which is awesome. Oh, he's got the old art Vegito. So we're taking this hit. We have no Earthlings, so there's actually nothing to use to protect ourselves. It's kind of cringe. Are we just playing the Trunks? Yes, we are. Trunks in the Gallic. Okay. Got some protection right there. So Cell here 
Looks like not using the Earthling build, but a lot of Piccolo build for this one. Interesting. Don't like. I don't. I don't mind the switch up. This is definitely a longer battle here. Uh, it was like twenty plus turns. Destructive strength, of course. Pretty empty board we have here. <laughs> All right, Videl comes through. We can recycle the trunks now. And we still... We can play Trunks or we can keep it for Gallic Gun. But I think we should play Trunks here. Just my personal opinion. We are dealing damage to sell. Into a Peel Up. So now we can use that Trunks to protect ourselves. This uh, cell has nothing to play other than some draws. You could play Kami into Piccolo, right? <laughs> Just to get another ramp. <laughs> uh, they actually need a new Kami. Maybe like a Cantrip Kami would be good. At least you got 25... He got a 25k on the board. So... Protect the Videl. We can ping, bring back Pilaf. We can play Moza Master next turn. Or well, this turn, technically. And we're going on face. Getting the Pilaf back. Yeah, it's a bit awkward your hand size right now because you can't get the draw unless you ditch two. And he's going to go 10 and 5. He does have a super combo, but he's going to save it. And we keep this Piccolo alive. It looks like you will. Sickle. Yeah, Gohan is useless there. I guess the good thing is that the Cell does not need to charge. But sometimes as a... Yeah, I always charge for some reason as well. <laughs> Maybe he didn't need the Kami, you know? He just picked up another Kami anyway, so it was pretty much the same thing. And then we bring in this Goku to draw one, ramp one. It's an active energy. And just keeping the Goku alive. Interesting, because... Yeah, absolute lightning. Bye bye. <laughs> bye bye. We're just dealing 30s, which is a great number to be at. And swinging. He's going to have to waste a gigantic meteor for this. He's got a lot of zero combo. But next turn, Cell comes in so he can heal up. He may even take this hit. Nope, not. He just wants to get to five next turn. And then for two, that's two galley guns. Beautiful. Man, just charge that Gohan. He is not needed. Galley gun number one. Galley gun number two. And we're just digging and digging. Yeah, I can definitely see why this battle goes for hell along. Ooh, all right. So we're playing Piccolo. Just so you can play the extra for free. Pretty cool, pretty cool. And you got to deal with a 30k swing. Got the Piccolo board. Another Gallic Gun. So it's very traditional to set to this deck list. Only thing, we haven't seen a Gohan. Um, it's just the Videl so far.
And we're going 30 here on the Piccolo. Oh, he's going to let it go. He wants that heal badly. Twenty-five. You gonna combo the Pilaf? Yep. Forty-five. He's gonna take that one, which he definitely should. No need to waste all of that precious protection. Please get rid of that Goron. You do not need it when you have two selves. Thank you. Watch like later on he needs it. <laughs> All right, here we go. We got Cell coming in. Getting rid of the energies, destroying at least one of them. Mojimasu comes back. He's going to swing. And you're just going to let it go. That's the goal of Mojimasu. Be a distraction. Get the ramp. And he's going to keep it for Gigantic. Ooh, uh, Zeno here? Yep. The only thing maybe I would have considered is like, maybe you could just have... Wait for the extra cell to come through. Since you're still at 5 life. To play the Zeno. And we do see the Gohan. The cell is running dry right now. He should just swung at Lita. Playing another cell games. To get an, why didn't he ramp with that one? He's scared of an extra Xeno. And I think he didn't ramp there. Why didn't he ramp there? He just wants to stay at 8, so then Cell gets his effect off. Uh, this is bad. This is bad for Cell. Four cards. Yep, do some filtering. You're running out of cards, though. The three super combos. I don't think you're dying anytime soon. And now you've got an excess amount of energy to start peel off looping. This is where you want to be as blue. The amount of pressure now is just too strong. Another cell. Wants to definitely get rid of this Zamasu. It's the only way to kill it is by swinging at it. It's a big problem with cell. He loses all of that energy. And so you can only one play one big body at a time. Heal. Get the ramp. Get the ramp. Broly. And if you have nothing to play here, I guess Zeno. Call oh, the four. Yes, yeah, two. Go peel off into peel off. Or even just peel off once here. I don't know actually how many P-Loves you got in the grave. I think that's just the one. If uh, the game would just let me have a look for like one second. Yeah, just the... Oh, you got two. <coughs> Do Zeno. 
and then peel off again. Four super combos is nutsy. <laughs> but you are 10 cards left, so... At this point, this guy's got to forget about the Cell oh, Games Arena, please. He's got to forget about it. Androids. Nah, he just loves it. There's just no way he's going to win now. Just swing at face, man. You know you can get rid of it. Like, he is delaying so hard. Bring back a Meteor. He's confident he will survive this next turn. I'd be scared. Oh, and the Sickle. I guess you just peel off, peel off. Oh, you're going for Trunks draw? See if you can find something of value. Vegito? Oh, yeah. 30. Gonna just take it. I mean, how much cards you got left as Merger of Masu? Seven left. If you go for this Trunks draw, six. No way you go it again. <laughs> Number Trunks draw. Five. Oh, shit. Yep, sell. Pop those two. And honestly, at this point... All you do is swing at with your leader. Like, you just don't even swing with Cell. <laughs> the energy back. Place with the energy ramp. With the draw. Yeah, just don't swing with Cell. That's all you gotta do, I think. This is the best chance of winning. Three gigantic meteors. Yeah. <laughs> you gotta... I mean, he, he has two super combos. This is scary. Zeno again. <laughs> Holy crap. Absolute. Gonna take one. Take one for the gang. Just gigantic meteor. What are you saving those for? Oh god. What if you pick up something? Oh yo yo yo. This is scary, bro. This is scary. What do you draw? Another super combo! What the hell? Draw 10. Oh my god, he's got a blocker too. But that's gonna waste a lot of his energy. But maybe it's just worth it. But no, the Xeno comes in. Oh, after the swings, the Xeno's come in. And then you got an active energy for two gigantic videos. Like, how did you even get... You can't even... It, you win this turn? Please, you... Okay. How do you win? The, you find the Vegeta double strike? Is that what happens? Now you have three gigantic meteors up. 
Oh my god. How does he win this? He didn't even use the effect. I'd sell and be like, yeah, I won this easily. You can't even draw. Nah, you lost. Nah, you lost. Did I? Maybe I did. Did I just see it as a win? Oh, no, but because he bottom decked, it's three. Oh, my God. Why did you swing? Oh, no. Why'd you swing at that? Oh, God damn, bro. The peel up loop. He actually cannot use Gallic Gun. Seventy-five. Yeah, you, you won. He shouldn't have swung at the leader. <laughs> oh my god, one card left. You can't even use Gallic Gun. Yo, Zeno actually saved him. It's insane. The bottom deck. That's crazy. I oh, will do one more match here from Edney. Uh, Beerus versus Bardock. So let's have a look. I think Beerus is very good. Still to this day. Uh, we'll see how he goes here. He's still running Frost. Like it's uh, yellow meta still. Got the new Beerus, which is very, very strong. Especially when both leaders are already awakened. And this Bardock looks um, very interesting. Very extra heavy. Very, very extra heavy. Very leaning towards the Bardock team Bardock theme. Which honestly, I don't think is the way to go anyway with this. The black deck right now. Not with its uh, trash support. Really? Maybe this is just a starter deck Bardock. I think the extra though is coming from... Or at least this extra. It's coming from the set, right? Yeah, FBO3. So hopefully he has like the secret rares and whatnot. Critical. Ooh, that's something you don't want to see right there. Yep, criticals for days. Just try to keep that hand size low, keeping the HP low. Lonesome final battle. Has the combo just to get rid of this Khalifa. And then <clears throat> and then for two energy, he actually has only Tora to answer. <clears throat> he can actually take a life though. Which is good. And then place and do that extra shenanigans that Tora does. Look at the top card of the deck and place it on the top of its owner's deck or in the uh, owner's drop, which he went and did Tora. If he did this 
extra correctly, then looks to be okay. So he's played Frost to lock down the Tora. And now you just have three cards left in your hands. Guys. Not the hardest thing to get rid of this Frost with Black. But it's not like he has the answer now. He's just charging his extras. Oh, there it is. That's the... Uh, just unfortunate timing, I think. So you're letting go of the Khalifla now. A new legend. Oh, true. He, had, he could do that. Double strike, though. <clears throat> Still not awakened, so I guess that works. Now he has to protect both his leader and his Bardock, especially from all of the uh, minus power effects. He's gonna just let that slide. What? Just combo the Torah. Now it's just a measly 10,000. That's a lot of, lot of protection. He can still swing with Frost. Oh, that's all of his cards. I've never seen Gine be played. I don't even know what she does, truth be told. Switches <laughs> card, the Resmo build top card of your deck and use a battle card with Saiyan and special traits in the combo. I mean, if you use this effect and this effect, surely, right? Surely you got it. Yep, there's one. <laughs> no double strike is quite a shame. Oh, he didn't swing with Tora. He's scared. I guess that was to be... Yup, GG's. <laughs> GG's. Unless, a super combo! No way you play Beerus here. Oh, you are scared. You were scared. You're scared of the two cards. He's like so happy that he wasn't a double striker right now. <laughs> he was so happy. What was crit? What if it was something important? I hate this. Oh. Dude, let me see. That's... Oh, it was Para Para Brothers. Just yikes, man. Just absolute yikes. And we get the final finisher with Beerus. That's what happens when you don't have any Super Saiyan 4 Gokus. <laughs> All right, that is going to wrap it up for today's reaction. Thank you guys for sending in your games. Make sure you send in more in the comment section down below. And hopefully I can react to yours very, very soon. But I'll see you guys in the next video as always. Peace.